This is not an easy video to make. I have been excited, so excited, for this new Dissidia for years now. Ever since the original Japanese arcade version was announced. And playing the beta has been a tremendous disappointment. I originally played the closed beta a little bit and red flags immediately shot up. I was like, this is really, really weird and really janky and not really Dissidia at all. But I was like, okay, okay, this is a beta. This is a closed beta. This is super early. Hopefully it gets better. Now we are into the open beta. And while there have been a lot of changes to generally what you can access, we now have access to some of uh, the story content and some of the different modes. Well, we don't really have access to them. We just have access to like what the menus will look like and uh, stuff like that. Overall, it's still the same game and it is a complete mess. There's so much wrong that I don't even really know where to start. I could just do a rapid fire of things that bother me. I might do that actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think the obvious and most glaring problem with the game to anyone who's played any of the older games is that the focus of the game is now 3v3 as opposed to 1v1 of the original games. Now in concept, this sounds fine. I mean, this could work, maybe. Except it doesn't at all. It's terrible. The original Dissidia was criticized for already being kind of a mess. Well, I don't think it's a mess at all. I think it's actually a really, really brilliant fighting game. One that is very unique and kind of hard to grasp. There's a lot to take in with your equipment and your summons and the brake system and all that. I could see why someone would think that about the original game. So, take that original combat and add four other players to the same fight. And that's what you get here. The UI is all over the place. The combat is all over the place. Often I ended up either losing or winning without doing anything. I would be in a heated battle with an enemy opponent and I would almost get the kill on him and then we'd lose. Because there are two other fights happening over in the distance that I'm not even aware of. That I'm not even a part of. Like, it's fun for about five to ten minutes of just, oh, this is so crazy, there's so much happening. But past that, its novelty quickly wears off and you realize that it's incredibly shallow and poorly designed. It's incredibly frustrating and I don't understand why that has to be the focus of this game. Well, the real reason that it's the focus is that I assume that was the primary mode in the arcade version. For those who don't know, this isn't really a true sequel to the PSP games. This originally was an arcade game in Japan, similar to like the arcade versions of Mario Kart and the arcade versions of like Theatrhythm and stuff like that. And it really shows with this game. Like everything about the game now in retrospect as I'm playing it, I get the vibe that it was just an arcade game that Square slapped a story onto and is trying to make into this full-fledged PS4 successor to these amazing games and it's just not that it's not it's just an arcade game ported to ps4 with a slapped on story mode that from the beta as far as i can tell is almost non-existent all it is is this mode that you can go to and unlock memories or cutscenes, i guess by spending this this in-game currency that you get for fighting games online or for playing online battles, I guess. It's just nothing like the original story modes in the original games. And honestly, the original story modes weren't even that good, but it actually had at least a real story, as silly as it may have been at times. It was a real story with cutscenes and dialogue and, and character development and character interactions. And I don't think that's gonna be a thing in this game. The whole game feels so soulless and lifeless, whereas the originals felt like a complete love letter to Final Fantasy fans. It's really what popularized a lot of the original Japanese games, like Final Fantasies 3 and 5 would not be nearly as big as they are now if not for Dissidia. The entire match, you could have no absolute idea of what is happening. You could be going at it against one person and all of a sudden the match ends because 
something else that you had no control over or even were a part of happened. It's just that so many elements of the game are so stripped down, all of the RPG elements seem to be taken out completely unless they are in, in the full game, but I really don't believe that they are. It's just it's such a shame because I was so excited for this game. I went from that day, that original day that I watched the trailer, from a like, no questions asked, pre-order day one, to I'm not even, I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'll definitely get it down the line when it's cheaper, because it will be, but right now, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Really disappointed, really sad. Anyway, I've been ranting for way too long. Uh, I apologize to anybody who's made it this far in the video. If you did make it this far, uh, are you enjoying the beta? Did you get to play the beta? And what do you think of it? Are you still excited for the game? Are you loving it and think I'm crazy? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you hated the video, be sure to give it a thumbs down. And all that good stuff. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video.